Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, the beard has given way to the goatee, which means it must be fight night for the former two division UFC champion Daniel Cormier. How about that skin fade tonight? Looking good, champ. The barber always does a great job of getting DC fight ready. It's part of the fight day preparation. You look good, you feel good. So I get a haircut on fight day. When I get into the octagon, I want to give the fans a show. From the wrestling to the striking, there is no area of mixed martial arts where I feel like I am outmatched. And it shows with the fact that I have won two UFC championships and have my 10 gold belts at my house in Gilroy. The head coach of the Gilroy High School wrestling team. Shout out to Rosendo Sanchez Boxing, too, as well. DC's jab has really become an educated one in the, the latter part of his career here. And in terms of the MMA application of wrestling, there's nobody who does it better. Once again, a big spot for DC here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Daniel D.C. Cormier! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane. When Conor McGregor became the UFC double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight, this is in the arena when Conor became the king. This is a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop him. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows 
then he can get the finish. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He's and this might just be a matter of time. This is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Cormier. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cormier. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by DC. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now he's gonna attack a triangle choke here. Side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. You ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Right left combo by Lee. Oh, going for the takedown here. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, some nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance, manage space in the striking room. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Can he take? All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master. Cormier's going for the arm submission. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. And that will do it! Oh! Woo! 
Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Daniel D.C. Foreman! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets... Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.